All right, so in this video, we're going to be going over what's known as the Java syntax. And that is syntax, a really silly word, which just means the sort of um, grammatical rules, the, the rules of how a programming language can look and feel, kind of like the grammar um, of what you can and cannot type or put certain things where. So to start off with, um, Java is very class-oriented. It's an object-oriented programming language, and we will get into what that means later on. But essentially, for right now, you can think of every class as just kind of like a kind of like its own file, its own section of code. So every line of code, every code that needs to be ran rather inside Java needs to be inside of a class, uh, and then that's why with our dummy pro our our sem uh, template program here our hello world program rather, uh, we have our line of code within a main class. On top of that, another rule of Java is every program must have a main function. So our main function is inside of our main class and that's where our program runs. So every time you start up a Java program, it's immediately gonna try and figure out, okay, where is my main function? Let me start there and run that guy first. So on top of that now, uh, moving on, uh, like I said, th this is our main function. And uh, every function will sort of look like this. It's going to have a certain keyword here. It will say public or private or protected. We'll get into that later on in section six when we start going over functions, but just bear with me here. Uh, so it's gonna start with that keyword and then it's going to say void or it's going to say something else. Um, uh, and again, we'll get into all that later on. And then it says the, then the next word there is going to be the function name. And then it's going to be a set of parentheses, an open parentheses, and oops, don't do that. An open parentheses followed by a closing parentheses. And then you'll notice here, we have this open parentheses here and this closing one here, but this happens to have something inside of it also. So it may have one or more what's called arguments inside of here. So I could have arg1 for argument1, or it could be empty, or I could have a million arguments. Doesn't really matter. Moving on, the next thing then is going to be a set of open and curly braces, much like the um, open and closed parentheses. A function will also have an open and closed uh, braces, just like our main function here. We have an open brace here followed by a curly brace. So now anything inside of this open and curly brace is contained within this function. So I can write, I can do this exact same thing here actually. Let me copy and paste this line of code here. And I'll write, I'm inside function name function. That seems a little bit confusing. Let's call this function um, do something cool. So this function will do something cool. And let me replace that name now here. And now this line of code is going to say, I'm inside do something cool function. So it's not a part of this function anymore. So whenever this function runs, this may not necessarily run either because we didn't tell this guy to run. Um, again, this is all getting more into functions and I will cover that later on uh, in section six. The main point I wanted to make was that um, Everything contained within the open and curly braces is contained, everything inside of the open and curly brace, open curly brace and closed curly brace, sorry, is contained within this function. Um, anything outside of that will not be inside that function. Uh, another thing to note with the Java programming language syntax is indentation and or white spaces are not necessary. So I can remove all of this here and this program will still run the same exact way. Now, it's not pretty, it's very hard to read this, which is why it is very standard convention inside the Java programming language to make a new line after every class. And then when you make a new line, you will also indent if the code is supposed to be indented. So notice here how, again, just like a function, a class will also have an open curly brace and a closed curly brace and everything inside that class will be essentially contained within that class. So to make it a little bit more visible that everything is inside that class, we will indent it. Because imagine if I didn't indent, 
again, it's just a little bit harder to read to, to know where things are inside and not inside this class. So that's why we will indent instead. And then same thing, we will indent there as well, because now we want it to be known that everything inside this main function is going to be indented, so it's just a little bit easier to read. So again, indentation and white space is not necessary, but it significantly helps with uh, readability. Um, another thing to know, just two more things about Java syntax that I want to cover. Um, every line of code must be terminated with a semicolon. If I forget that semicolon here, you're going to see I, I get some little error here. I see this little red box here that shows me where an error is, and I see a little squiggly, uh, red squiggly line. And when we hover over that little red squiggly line, we're going to see an error called a syntax error. And then it's just sort of informing us that, hey, you forgot your semicolon, put it back in there to know that this line of code is terminating. And now when I say every line of code needs to have a semicolon, that doesn't necessarily mean that literally every line of code needs to have a semicolon. Like I don't have a line of code, I don't have a semicolon here. I don't have a semicolon here. This is just white space. I obviously don't have a semicolon here. No, only lines that can actually essentially be ran or executed. And we'll get more into that a little bit later. You'll As we move on through the course, you'll start to get a better feeling for when semicolons are needed and when semicolons are not needed. But last thing to note on that same topic is that Again, when I say every line of code, that doesn't necessarily mean that this line of code needs to stay on one line. Because again, remember, white space um, within reason is sort of optional. I can, what I mean by is I can expand this one line of code through multiple lines. And just because now this one line of code spans three separate lines, I still don't need to have a semicolon after every line. Because this is all meant to be one line of code. Now, I put that in there with caution because you can't just put white spaces wherever the heck you want, right? Like, I couldn't put a white uh, a space here. I couldn't put a white space in between here because this is supposed to be essentially one command, one whole command. Um, versus this, this line of code essentially has multiple quote-unquote commands, multiple functions, rather. I have a class name. And then within that class, I'm calling the out function. With it, with that out function, I'm calling the print line function. And that print line function is going to be accepting a certain argument, which again is contained within the, oops, don't mean to do that, which again is contained within the open and curly, or sorry, open and close parentheses, not curly braces. Um... Yeah, I think that's about it. So again, just a quick recap, and I, I shouldn't say that's about it. There is plenty more uh, things we should cover on syntax, but just to get started with Java programming, that's all I want to cover for now. So again, just a recap. Um, every line of code must be contained within a class. A class will, every code contained within a class will be inside its open and closing curly braces. Every Java program will have a main function. All functions, including the main function, will have an open and cr closing curly brace as well, just like classes. Functions will also have a open and closing parentheses, which may contain one or more arguments. We use indentation to help us visually see where code is supposed to be inside other code, essentially, like this code here is supposed to be inside this main class this code here is supposed to be inside this main function and then every line of code should be terminated by a semicolon 